Hello everybody, some of you might remember my old two years old video about my Dell Precision M4700 when I got it in a specific configuration and upgraded it with the fastest, biggest SSD at the time and a good memory set and I saved quite a bit money from Dell because um, they charge quite outrageous numbers for such things as SSDs and memory, at least at that time. And recently I decided that maybe it would be a really cool idea to try to upgrade the laptop. And also I knew that usually manufacturers try to make everything in their power that you cannot do anything with the laptops except some minor changes. I really wanted to try to see if I can upgrade the graphical card for the, this uh, model. And after some research I figured out that 4800, which is the current model, pretty much uses the same type of um, graphical card uses the same slot, the same uh, specification and the same wattage and it looks like it's supposed to be working. And uh, I went online and purchased 47, 4800 uh, model GPU and uh, got it from China and spent entire weekend trying to upgrade it. Took me a lot of hours, probably six or seven hours of straight work trying to figure it out. I wanted to make a really cool tutorial. I made all testings, how much score I get with old GPU. I want to show what I gain with the second GPU. But unfortunately, card wasn't accepted by the system. It boots, but shows nothing. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I, I have the latest uh, BIOS and um, try to prepare a computer to be able to work with new graphical card, but it didn't work out. Maybe it's um, defective because you never know when you buy from China if things work or not. I really cannot really check it. Or maybe they'll put certain brakes. Uh, into the system so it only works with this specific uh, model of the GPU and anything else get not accepted by the system. So I can't really tell you but I would like to warn you that if you would like to go follow my path uh, the probability of the fail probably a little bit higher than you think because everything works fine on the paper for me. Anyways uh, and recently I got somebody asked me how to um, replace a keyboard on the 4700-48800 series laptops. I wouldn't even think about making such a tutorial because it's totally out of my way. But because I had to put graphical cards in twice and um, because I, I wasn't sure what's going on, I thought maybe I broke laptop, so I, I removed it, I put old GPU back, assembled everything, put it, uh, and it works, so then I reinstalled it again, and it didn't work second time. So, um, I had to assemble the disassemble laptop quite a few times, it's probably about 40 damn screws takes to disassemble the entire system, so it was a lot of hours of work, and in the process, because I was connecting, disconnecting a lot of ribbon cables inside of the laptop, way too many times, I broke a connector on my keyboard, and basically my connection is really weak, so I have to use laptop only with docking station right now, and using external keyboard, because this keyboard, this connection is too finicky, and it works and doesn't work, and um, I decided to make part two going to China, and now I bought this keyboard. I hope this works, but nevertheless, regardless success or another fail, I can show you how to replace keyboard because I have to try anyway, so if it doesn't work, it makes no difference for me. So it will be new model, but it appears as a original Dell part number and uh, has all Dell labels, so I hope it works. So without further ado, I would like to demonstrate you how to replace keyboard. So for those guys who is little interest, of course, you, um, you probably no point to watch any further, but for those of you who want to know how to replace keyboard on a laptop, chime in and I will show you how. Well, keyboard replacement probably one of the simplest tasks here. We, we need to remove minimum amount of screws and the uh, minimum amount of parts of the laptop. So all you need to do, this is bezel, plastic bezel that goes around keyboard that covers your screws. You need basically to use a flat screwdriver and uh, separate it from from the body of the laptop itself. I already 
have it half assembled, that's why I can do it with my hand, but realistically you have to start with screwdriver and just kind of pop it from the side and then you can remove it with your hands. After that we have access to the keyboard. You can see there's only one, two, three, um, I don't know, there's another screw that's not even used, four, and I think that's only four screws, pretty much. So that's what we're going to do. Just remove them quickly and uh, and we replace keyboard. Somebody also asked uh, about where the hell another four slots of memory in this model, both 4700 and 4800 the same. It's actually on the keyboard. So if you want to put maximum amount of memory in this system, um, first two slots is under the laptop body and another two slots a little bit harder to access and they're on the keyboard. So you can see you need to pull it up a little bit because it has those um, additional parts sticking out and um, the kind, kind of jamming keyboard in the body of a laptop. And when you do that, you will see that there's a ribbon cable that get connected to um, connector on, on, on a keyboard. And that's what I broke. It has this little latch that goes up and down. And unfortunately, after too many disconnections and connection of this laptop, I, I pulled too hard and it broke. So I try to attach it with tape and other ways try to figure it out but unfortunately it didn't work so that's the faulty part we're having here here you go a little bit better view so you can see that i'm missing this part of connector that jams cable in and press it against contacts and here i have that part and because i broke it completely i won't wasn't be able to it work properly. So from the upright position we need to turn it basically down and now cable jammed. So you can see it's of course you can pull it if you hard make it too hard. But it jammed. Okay. And now with a little bit further view, you can see, so I connected this to the motherboard. The problem why I broke the entire assembly is that you can see the cable is extremely short, extra one centimeter, half inch would make job so much easier, but it's so easy to barely move keyboard sideways or up and the cables became too short and you pull connection from the socket and because I had to disassemble it so many times, try to test and figure out what's going on with uh, this bloody uh, GPU that I eventually I broke the connector. But you can see that you should be really careful and take your time and patience to finish this job. Now, so I promise you to show where the other two slots of memory are. So you can see this here. So if you'd like to upgrade all four, um, positions for memory, you have to unscrew your keyboard and put memory in. And again, remember about this bloody cable. Try, don't push it, don't break it. Because it's so easy to get in trouble. Now, before I put screws back, I just like quickly power up laptop and just verify that keyboard works because with Chinese product, you never know. So I want to see that. Uh, okay. Some button work. So the final assembly is uh, simply you put uh, latches on top of the keyboard into the slots. You press it down to lock sides and you put screws back, four screws back. That's it. So if you're careful enough and you know what to do, Realistically, the entire procedure might take, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes maximum. Um, so it's not that difficult. Um, I don't even think it 
require special tutorial to be honest with you because it's a relatively straightforward task but nevertheless if, if this helps I'm happy about that and feel free to follow my tips about it and at the end all we just need to replace this bezel back it's very easy just press it and everything get locked so it's, it's not hard task at all that's it so we have our laptop works and even backlit which is good that's what i wanted so everything fine Okay, resume windows. Ready to work, now I can use it on my hands without connecting a docking station as mandatory task. That's it guys, thank you for watching. Hope it helped you out. And let me go back with uh, water cooling videos, which is my main purpose of uh, making this channel.